Grandma's going out for a jog. Someone tell me the new animation looked like Grandma was going out for a jog, so I... I'm a grandma. Okay, anyways. Uh <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be house flipping, um, which is just another word for renovating. My abandoned Bloxburg house, I built this around like, I think I built this four to five days ago. This abandoned home here has a garage and it is two story home. You know, it's pretty, um, pretty traditional. Very scary, a lot of dead trees, boarded up windows, broken doors, anything, you name it. Inside looks kind of like this. Maybe I should just walk in myself. I'm gonna do that. Let's walk in. But yeah, here's the garage. Let's go to the garage. I'll show you guys what it looks like before, and then we can have an after. <laughs> but yeah, the garage. I I kind of I like this texture. It's so good. And then um we can just go through here for the. But yeah, this is going to be like a mud room. I already made the idea. I already have the idea of that. There's broken floorboards and stuff like that lead you to the basement. That's very dangerous. But yeah, it is just really run down, very terrible, disgusting. And then um yeah, I love this new furniture. I love new furniture. You can even see the hole through this. Wow. Okay, then we go upstairs. We just have like your typical landing area. Yeah, this is going to be like maybe a kid's or baby's bedroom, I was thinking. And then over here is like the main bedroom. It's pretty small, but um, yeah, it's a bedroom. And then we also have the bathroom right here, which has some very disgusting stuff as well. And a hole in the wall. So yeah, that is our abandoned home. Can I get out? Thank you. House flip it slash renovate. I don't know what I want to put in the title. Maybe I'll just put renovate. We are going to clean the place up, which means I'm actually just going to get rid of all the grass that I put down, all the broken floorboards, the trash. We just have to clean it all up. Get rid of the graffiti here as well, because, um, yeah, I can't believe people would, like, actually vandalize this place. How dare they? I'm getting rid of this caution tape as well, which I really, I always forget is a thing in this game, but, yeah, I like the caution tape. Then we're also going to, um, uh, let's get rid of the overgrowth that is also looming all over the building, like, the roof here. Wow, I can't believe this. This is so disgusting. Who would, who would leave it like that? I don't know. I I will keep a few of these compact bushes though because I do plan on having them just stay here for like the final look. Ooh, the holes in the walls. We gotta like patch up the holes in the walls too. Like it's a whole process. All right, cool. The place is a lot cleaner. We are going to make the garage look a little bit better too. I'm replacing the garage. I'm using a brand new one, the garage to install a new one. Like we took it out on a different one cause it just was a safety hazard. So, okay, already the house is looking a lot cleaner. Oh, I forgot about that one. All right, let's move on to the interior now and also clean this up since the exterior is better. Let's get rid of all these mouse traps. Oh my gosh. They have an infestation here. We're gonna patch up the hole in the floor by getting rid of the basement. It, that is also a safety hazard. Health of code violation. There's some blood in here too and dirt inside that I must also get rid of. That's a little scary. These like holes in the walls, they glitch sometimes. So I would like to think we cleaned up all the trash in this house. So yay, everything. it's safer to move around here now. Now we just need to go ahead and replace all the furniture. We're gonna be, I guess we'll start with one room at a time. Let's do the garage first, you know? Let's do the garage, okay. Because I want the garage to be like, oops, my storage area still. I say I cleaned up the place, but I left the windows all broken and shattered. But yeah, at least we're starting with the garage first. Let's do some traditional windows, I think. Double windows. I think there was one over here too. There you go, much better. I actually don't even wanna put a car in here because I don't have any like, car cars i just have motorcycles and stuff so i'm gonna put some of these wall trims i'm just gonna do like all one make it plastic so it's super smooth looking the garage it's very modern i guess we'll just make it modern yeah <laughs> that looks better yeah okay i'm replacing the lights um we're gonna use the uh i love these industrial lights right here i always like to use these industrial ceilings they just have a garage vibe either that or the or like a greenhouse sort of vibe okay and then i will add some shelving in here yeah let's do some like actual garage stuff in here maybe like a fire extinguisher in the garage always got to be prepared and safe um maybe i could put some duffel bags in here i don't know how many duffel bags you need in a garage um uh, spray bottles yes um a hammer a handsaw a screwdriver um a wrench can go here maybe a few of them the some gas small gas cans that's perfect. That's really all I need in my garage. I will put a vehicle down, cause why not? I'll put like a little, this is grandma's motorcycle, by the way, grandma bread. 
Um, the one that was jogging earlier. Yeah, she's a biker. I'm a biker! That's how she says it too. That's the garage. <laughs> you guys know me. I don't really do too much, but we do have storage elements in here. Let's go to the mud room next. I feel like I'm gonna like really enjoy doing this. I do like the idea of like a white blue and then have some like hints of brown as well for the color scheme. Very modern. So I think I'm gonna try to attempt this sort of like get ready cubby closet sort of thing. Oh my gosh, a fresh paint, <laughs> a fresh paint. We got fresh paint going on here. Okay, let's put a few traditional counters in here. We're gonna change up entirely the look of it. Blue with a what about the old ones. I wonder how they look at the Ooh, wait, I kinda like wait, I kinda like the old wood material as like the countertop texture. We just gotta make it it looks a little silly. We'll see. We'll see about that. The shelving underneath so we can put our like slippers and stuff. Once again, I'm still I'm surprised we still don't have like shoes. Like <laughs> we don't have shoes. We have house slippers, we have flip-flops, but we don't have like shoes in this game like decorative shoes i don't know maybe that's just um too detailed or something I the basic shape to detail this a bit better and what i'm gonna do next add another one transform that upwards let's do this let's make one like a little closet oh maybe i could stuff like <sighs> i don't think it's possible i don't think this would look that great i want to make it functional in a way so it'd be kind of cool if they had like uh, wait maybe there's a dresser that's like wait a locker i don't know I'm trying to disguise this in a way so that it's functional, like you could use it without seeing the locker. But we'd have to make this taller to like completely hide it. It should work, right? It should work. Interesting. Not as um, pretty as expected, but it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Not the worst. Okay. Hey, okay, I don't know why I'm not feeling these this like flooring anymore. I might just use wood grain or something. Unfortunately, I'm trying to like it, but it, I can't. Ooh, gray, wood grain. That'd be fun. I mean, why not? You know, this is not that bad. Okay. You know what? That's our mud room. Quote unquote mud room. <gasps> oh wait, maybe I should have some texture on these two. Is that better? I don't know. We'll just keep it like that. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. It's fine. All right, perfect. All right, that's our laundry room, mud room, whatever you'd like to call it. That's our mud room. Garage and mud room are renovated. Let's go ahead and move on to this living room area. Uh, let's just replace all of the furniture. I kind of like this cinder block bookcase though. I might keep it. We don't want to get rid of completely everything as cursed as it may be. Let me just put... Sometimes some old things look pretty decent. All right, we're going to fresh coat of paint everywhere. Why not? And I know the back door, I wanted to do like a double French door. Traditional French door. Keeping this cinder block bookcase because uh, maybe they could like reuse it. It's not entirely terrible. So they're definitely reusing this. They made the cinder blocks wooded. <laughs> Reusable stuff. Okay, we're house flipping. We can actually reuse some stuff. Resourceful spring. Spring is pretty much started. Oh, happy spring. Unless you're in the southern hemisphere. Um, I think it's fall. But if we're doing like a modern sort of renovation, like they house flipped it to be more modern. I've actually seen a few like actual house flips and they did exactly this. So <laughs> it's realistic. I'm kind of, I like the dirt stains. I don't know why I really like the dirt stains. Gives us some sort of texture, so I'm gonna use it. This is what I want, the wide flooring. This is new, it is definitely new. I don't know if I like this setup. Should I do it a different way? Oh my gosh, wait, I can copy and paste this thing. <gasps> That's fun. Maybe I don't need a window on that side. Who needs a window right there? I don't. Wait, don't you need to be a certain level to unlock these? Cause I feel like when I was on another account, I couldn't find them. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty realistic, minimalistic kind of. I feel like I want to add like a little console table here or something. Very humble, I know, so good. Okay, thinking like some end tables, we could use some end tables. Do we have round end tables? Oh yeah, we do. These trendy ones. I'm just gonna add it, a Victorian lamp. We're mix matching here. That's our living room. I, I think that's all I wanna do for the living room. Let's move over to the kitchen now. This is gonna be a super small kitchen, I know. I know, let's replace those counters. The sink in it, and it goes right here. 
And you can still, I'm only gonna add one zinc, but you can still like prepare food on here. Just click on the counter. Yeah, I'm all for the click on the counter to prepare food. And then we'll just steal these in our oven hood. And we pretty much are done right there. Maybe a little bit cluttered or I could put it on this side. Wait, we can make use of this side. Oh, <gasps> shelving. Oh my gosh, wait. And wait, wait me, maybe I can put some appliances on here so it's not as cluttered. So maybe I could put like the toaster here. You know, nothing like to go into your pots and rack shelf to put toast on that. Yep. Mortar and pestle. Boom. You know what? That is a solid kitchen. Has everything you need. Wow. Look at that. Wait, the whole first floor is renovated now. All right, let's move to the second floor. We have bedrooms. We have this bathroom to do and maybe a little bit of the landing and we'll be pretty much set. This is the baby room. I'm going to do a sand green, not a baby room, maybe like just a kid's bedroom. A kid's bed in here. Ooh, <laughs> not a lot of space in here. There you go. That is so small. I <laughs> I forget how small these like kid sized things are. I mean, it makes sense. Yes, it's a kid's room, but is that too like boring? I think it needs to be more colorful, if anything, for a child. There's not a lot of space. I feel so bad for this kid. I wish we had like a clothing pile. You know, we need a clothing pile. So we have a pair of socks that you can place on the floor to make it look cluttered. We need like clothes, you know? Clo Wait! Hold on just a second. Now that I mention it, the new um, clothesline can be placed freely. So maybe I can just like do that like th No, it doesn't work. No! <laughs> Wait, I think there's a way, right? Okay, never mind. I thought I could do something, but maybe I'm just not smart enough right now. We'll see. All right, so for this bedroom, there's not much to go for this. I mean, there's not much to do. <laughs> um, yep, that's the little re bedroom right here. Oh man. Now we do this restroom, so let's get rid of all the broken looking furniture. There's a hole in the wall there. Um, maybe I will fix up this roof real quick. Okay, it's a lot better. That's that's my bathroom. Okay, now we just have to add like toilet paper and towels. Okay, this landing area, I don't have much to do with this. Hold on, wait. You know, that's good. Landing areas, I don't really do too much for them. I just like carpets are good. Maybe like a, make this a little reading nook. Maybe a little lamp. I'll steal that from downstairs. Someone's a bookworm, so <laughs> they can have that little spot there. That's nice. Okay, and then, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, it's pretty realistic. Look this. Maybe some plants. Hold on. Just have it in between the doors like this. Don't hit, don't hit it. Okay, don't get hit. Put a little plant there, put a little plant here. <gasps> and then we can steal another painting and put it right here in the center of this. Nice. Wait, that's actually, wow, the plants add so much to this. The interior of this house is renovated. All right, now I have to do the last thing, which is landscaping the outside. And honestly, I'm not gonna do a whole lot, but this pretty much is a renovation. I didn't really like break down any walls or anything. I just kind of like put some clean walls and flooring and it's this like a proper porch setup. We um, transferred some trees over from another place. We just dug it out. Put it in our truck and we're able to add it to this house because why not even some really like tall ones when in doubt hide hide it with trees trees are your best friends okay i did want to make this into like some sort of backyard i know this looks strange because the door is not centered but you're just gonna have to deal with it fridge is right there okay i'm sometimes it just has to be done i mean for the back i'm just gonna do the typical what do you think i'm gonna do Ooh, you guessed it a barbecue area wow maybe i'll add like some i'm gonna put like a fire pit right here you know what that's different a fire pit area yes fireplaces and we find the round metal fire pit the fire is a little too warm lighting for me so i'll just do that honestly that's really all i'm gonna do for the back yep let me just add a bit more effort to these um windows here they gotta be decorated oh you know what i need those hanging plants hanging. i haven't used those in a while too okay. oh the bird's here okay um don't i still have a mouse hole yeah. Oh my gosh, I covered up the mouse hole. Hold on. I'm gonna steal that back. I guess I can try and make like stepping stones. Looks weird. Is it even the same color? I don't even think they match. It also adds like a nice bollard, like a natural bollard, so people don't start running into your house with these things. I mean, that's cute! Honestly, that's it, right? That's all I gotta do. I don't have to do too much. Maybe some more dirt kind of cute though let's see how this is looking. no absolutely not maybe like white maybe textured 
Let me just get a little zoom out. Okay, wait. Maybe it's not that bad. Just do it for those um, parts that stick out a lot. Yeah, only certain parts of the house I'm going to use it for. Maybe like... And I think that is it, guys. We did it. So here is our new, newly house flip home. Look at this. Okay, I feel like this is weird now, actually. But I'm just, I don't, I don't care anymore. <clears throat> here is our new house, guys. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's a home. Wow. So beautiful. Here's a 360. Some windows are a little goofy, but um, a nice backyard now. Um, the rest is so random, to be honest, but... I love it. This is wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and tour it. So lots of new landscaping and whatnot. It's very nice. Got a front porch now. I will say it's an improvement from the abandoned, you know, from the abandoned. It looks like a proper garage. It's musty and dusty in here. Probably smells like that. Let's go through the front door and this is what we have for our interior. Oh, don't mind the roof. I don't know why it's a glitched. Okay, is that glitched? Or is it like I choose two different colors? Oh, it's glitched. See? It's glitched. Here we are, our new living room. I should have added like a plant here or something. <laughs> but yeah, our new living room. Here's a front entrance. Um, I actually ended up keeping the cinder block bookshelf because we are resourceful. We just um, restored it. It's a restored thing. It's the only thing we restored, to be honest. Um, and then this little... Over here is the small kitchen area. Very much house flip. Very much renovated, very proper now. And then here is the backyard, the new addition. We have a fire pit gathering thingy. Um, this is where's the barbecue. We, it's all fenced up for privacy and whatnot. And if we go over here, this is the new mudroom. So this is where the laundry takes place or like, I don't know, just the laundry room pretty much. Mudroom leads to the garage. Okay, and then if we go upstairs, this is a landing area. Uh, maybe I can put random family. I don't know whose family this is, but, uh... <laughs> These don't even make sense! But yeah, this is our landing area. This is also a little reading nook, so you can just sit here and read a book if you'd like. Yep. I'm reading about programming. I'm a programmer. Alright, um, here is the kids' bedroom. As you can see, I'm very lazy with details. Why can't I open the door? I have to look up. Here is the main parents, I guess, bedroom or something. It doesn't even have to be a parents' bedroom, but just... And then last but not least, the bathroom. I believe this is the only bathroom of the house. But it's not an ensuite bathroom, so anyone can really go in here. No problems. And that is my house. We... I can't believe I actually, like, flipped this. I don't know. It looks so good. It looks so nice. All right. House value is 151,000, by the way. So, um, thanks for watching. I finally renovated this. It was a lot of fun. Have a great day. Bye.